Hi, Poyana here from BIM Object Germany. Welcome to this introduction of the Schuko Aluminium Facade Window and Door products. We will load these directly in a product via our integrated app for Archicad. Firstly, search for Schuko by brand. Here you will get an overview of the products which are now ready for download. We will view the product page of the latest release of the Window Family AWS 75 SE Plus Outward Opening. Here you will find an overview of the window types available, a short description text, links back to Shuko's homepage for further information, related and classification. In the download menu different file formats are available. The PDF documentation contains an overview and technical info of this particular Shuko family. Let's take a look inside the document. Here you can see the overview with the different types available. This information you will find reflected in the Revit project file as you can see here inside of Revit. The same overview is included in the Archicad PLA file too. So, now we are back in our download menu. For our current project you can download the LCF library through our Archicad application. To use these files as intended, you must download the Ashuko Macro Library too. Back to the current project file, we are going to place the windows in our building. Therefore, you need to go in the window default settings. Here you will find the objects you have downloaded from the product page. As you see here, I have loaded the whole Shuko library in my project file. In the user interface, you can choose the handle type and the 3D opening angle for turn and tilt. On the next step, you will find some technical information about this particular window and you have further parameters, which configure the reveal type, the wall closure and inset. On the next steps, you will get an overview from the listing parameters and the BIM information. In the preview and positioning area, you can type in the width and height manually. These are constrained to available manufacturable size. When this is done, simply press OK and place the window in the 3D view into the wall. You can still adjust the width and height of the window through the integrated hotspots until the window is placed accordingly. With the hotspots you can also modify the leaves so they fit to your design of your building. For the windows with opening lines displayed, you can edit the opening angle as I am doing here. In the ground floor view, you have the ability to modify the window too. These windows are developed to 3 LODs. For example here, when you change the scale to 1 to 50, the profiles are more detailed. So, let's go back to the user interface and place another window from the Shuko family into our project. As explained for the previously, to modify the window, use the hotspots to adjust the parameters. If you need the same type, drag a copy and use the hotspots again. If you need more information about this particular product, you can simply go back in the user interface to BIM information. Click on the product description button. There you will be directed to the product page on BIMobject.com, where you can find additional information and further files too. Make sure that you downloaded the Shuko door and window macro library too. This library works for all Shuko products which are available on BIMobject.com. Let's have a quick look at the Shuko doors. Here you can set up an opening angle in 3D. And in 2D 
you can set a different opening angle from the 3D perspective by using the hotspots. The doors are also scale sensitive. As you can see here, we are viewing a one-to-one -one detail level. These objects are available now at bimobject.com. Thanks for watching.